In 2011, a group of 17 institutions came together with the goal of improving rectal cancer care in the United States. That initial meeting led to the formation of Ostrich, the consortium for optimizing the surgical treatment of rectal cancer. Over the past five years, Ostrich has collaborated closely with the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer to develop the new national accreditation program for rectal cancer. Our recent publication in the Journal of the American College of Surgeons is the latest in a series of initiatives which undertook to evaluate any differences in rectal cancer care in the United States. Yet again, we found that there are tremendous differences in the way rectal cancer is cared for in the U.S. Over the course of the various investigations which we've published, we also have confirmed that the standards in the U.S. seemingly are not where they are in Europe or where they've been in, in Europe, both in the EU and in the U.K. Those differences appear largely related to the multidisciplinary team effort which is given to rectal cancer in the EU and the UK. Thankfully, having identified these differences throughout the US, as well as the differences between the US and the EU and UK, we now have a national accreditation program for rectal cancer, which includes standards. Those published standards, when followed, should certainly allow us to offer our patients in the United States the same salutary outcomes that are seen things relating to lower rates of local recurrence, for example, because of a better quality total mesorectal excision on a more consistent basis, a lower incidence of circumferential resection margin positivity, and ideally also a lower rate of colostomy, all things which our group through the various investigations has found uh, is different between us and the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Development of the NAPRC relied heavily on the example set by a number of programs developed in Europe over the past 20 years which have improved rectal cancer outcomes tremendously on a national level in those countries. Our collaboration with the COC was successful because Ostrich brought together all of the stakeholder societies involved in the management of rectal cancer patients under one umbrella. We were then able to interface with the Commission on Cancer to develop this comprehensive, multidisciplinary team-centered national accreditation program. Within the cancer department of the college, we have developed a number of quality improvement measures to be done at the uh, hospitals. For monitoring this, our 1,500 programs with the Commission on Cancer, our 650 programs with the breast centers, the National Accreditation Program for Breast Centers, and now the recently launched National Accreditation Program for Rectal Cancer, we are able to, compl to measure compliance with the measures. We do internally set threshold numbers for compliance, and if those measures are not met, then there has to be documented a plan for improvement. Now focusing specifically on rectal cancer, uh, we do have baseline performance data from two recent research publications. The results were variable, but they did definitely show room for improvement, as you might expect. So we do have those data, and we can compare them in future studies, which hopefully will show improvement over the next couple of years with our accreditation program. Thankfully, the new National Accreditation Program for Rectal Cancer should allow us to afford these benefits to our patients in the United States. This study, again, has certainly confirmed that we need this type of program. Ostrich undertook the present study, the focus of this video, to determine where we stood as a country at the outset of the national accreditation program. Now several of the process and performance measures that are included in the NAPRC standards are currently collected by the National Cancer Database and this allowed us to make the assessment. Overall, we found that only 25% of patients were meeting all of the examined process measures and only 50% were meeting all of the examined performance measures. With only one out of four patients currently meeting all of the studied NAPRC process measures and only 50% meeting the performance measures, there is clearly a lot of room for improvement. It is our hope that the NAPRC and future collaborations between the Ostrich Consortium and the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer 
will allow us to achieve our goal of improving outcomes for all U.S. rectal cancer patients.